What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on AFK Arena and it's time to progress through the campaign. So we're at 16-1, I've been waiting to do this with you guys. So this is my full new team. It's completely centered around Shamira, so, you know. Um, the Belinda is in there, but Belinda will actually not be in there. I've been using Calther more. Um... Just because he allows me to have a hero, he helps because he stays around after he dies. So it's like having another hero um, to help combat with Shamira. Because a lot of the time, Shamira is left all by herself. And so, yeah. The Succubus is there legitimately just for the 30% extra defense. She does have some qualities that help, like um, that... the I don't know what it's called, but the thing where she like blows a kiss and she makes one of the enemy heroes attack um that's really helpful but uh yeah let's get into this we'll see how far we can progress today we have the four bonus for um graveborns along with the 30 percent extra defense but it's literally just all about can shamira stay alive um and what what help can nara be because nara is my only level 180 obviously we need a ton of um uh hero essence to level anybody up and so, yeah, Nara is the only one I had enough to get to 180. I had a bunch of, I, I hero essenced, I decided to reset everybody and just get Chimera to 200. But then when I got Nara to 180, the issue became now is that I'm just pretty much saving up experience points because there's nothing to spend it on. Um, and so, let me stop talking instead of starting the gameplay now I can talk but yeah so that's what the big thing is is that I'm waiting on right now is I'm waiting on either to get um I, uh, there's a couple of things I need right now um and I'll go over them real quickly in here so for graveborns I need one for real or feral or whatever I need one grezel I need um, one Baden, no, I need more than one Baden, because Baden's Mythic Plus isn't, no, myth Baden's only Mythic, so I need to get Baden to Mythic Plus. Um, I just need a bunch of different Graveborns, essentially. Um, I need three more Naras, I mean, that's kind of unreal, but I need three more Naras, I need two more Shamiras, pretty much just trying to get these guys up. Uh, I'd love to get all of them up to Mythic Plus would be my goal. Um, Nara is, uh, Nara and Shamira are obviously the only ones there. Um, so I'd love to get them all to Mythic Plus, and then I'd love to try out, uh, getting Sylvina up to Legendary Plus and maybe trying to use her a little bit, but obviously that's a ways out, but I am the number one person on the, uh, Graveborn ladder for whatever, whoever I'm competing against. I know this isn't worldwide, um, whether this is just my server or what. I am the number one Graveborn summoner because... Pretty much every uh, faction summon I get is in Graveborns right now. Um, but I'm pretty far up there on everything. 17 on Maulers, 15 on Lightbearers, and 13 on Wilders. Um, so I'm pretty decently up there. Progression, I'm an 8th uh, for whatever I'm competing against. Whatever these people are in my in my thing that I'm competing against, I'm 8th. I'm 2120, holy crap. Uh, and then King's Tower Progression, I'm 8th as well on um, floor 185. If I could get to floor 187, I'd get all the way up to 6th, but yeah. Um, Alright, let's get back into what this video is about, and that's progressing this. So we'll see where we can get into this. I'm interested to see... Um, I'd assume I'll be able to get pretty far with Shamira. She's pretty she's pretty good at hard carrying through everything, so um, I think we should be pretty good. We'll see a lot of those Rampage 5s pop up. Uh, the interesting thing will be... Okay, so we got boss Shamira now. Um... I'm going to try something different. I'm going to do this and that. Probably, this might, I might not need to do this because my Shamira is clearly better, but my Nara looks like it's going to handle that Shamira easy. But now the issue is, is that it's just Nara and Shamira, so we'll see what they can do together. Eh, Shamira's staying alive. Shamira's going to clean this up. I guess that's the thing. Even when Calther's dead, he's still helping. And so that's kind of a big thing that I always kind of forget is that even when Kelther is murdered, he can still help uh, clean stuff up. I forgot to switch this back. Ogi is like the hardest thing for me in campaign. He's just like an absolute unit. I probably, eh, I might actually leave Shamira and Nara on one side because what it would allow me to do is clean up a whole side. It would make it a more fair fight because 
Shamira can clean up who's in front of her. Nara can clean up who's on that side. And if they can clean them up and Kelther's, you know, obviously Kelther dies. But my point is, is that Kelther's ghost is still around. So it makes it a fair three on three from there out. As long as Baden and uh, Kelther can kind of, Baden, Kelther, and the Succubus can stay alive for just long enough for uh, Shamira and Nara to kill the people in front of them. I think that's I think that's a good strategy because Shamira and Nara are clearly my best heroes. It's not even close. Um, if we go look at their power, they are so far and away better that it's it's like a joke. Cause like Shamira, two oh six, Nara almost one forty, and then Belinda's ninety seven, and then Tazi's ninety two, but then Baden's an eighty eight, and then the next person that I use is way down here. Kelther's a 64,000, and the Succubus is way because she's just a regular elite. Mahira is 50,000. So terrible, but it, it works out well enough. I mean, it's not fantastic, but it works out. See, this is the one issue, is like Ogi just absolutely just wrecking house. Shamira and Nara just barely finished off their, their guys in time, but going to finish and clean that up fairly easily, so that's good. So we can head to the next one. We are plowing through this fairly easily. We haven't had any, like, clutches yet. Like, where there's a lot of times where Shamira's got to clutch, like, 1v4s or 1v5s in these. And we haven't had that yet. And right there, that was really good. I don't even think... Yeah. Uh, Kelther didn't even die that time. It's interesting because Kelther's not one of my better heroes. Uh, but he's, like, almost... He's, like, an integral part of my main squad here because of just that that survivability and extra help damage to Shamira it's just he's just really really good for that Shamira getting another rampage kill five so what are we at now we're at 12 11 so progressing fairly well here um I was interested to see there was a part of me that thought maybe we would run into issues really quickly into playing but doesn't look like that's going to be the case it looks like we'll clean this up really easily Every once in a while when I set the people up like this, I need a Nara clutch, which that's always an interesting, that's always an interesting ordeal is when I need Nara clutches. She's capable of it. She's capable of winning 1v2s, the occasional 1v3, but she's really just a 1v1, 1v2 clutch. If she gets it a 1v1, it's like GG if she has that slam anywhere near available. Uh, okay, we did clean that up. I thought, I thought Nara might die back there. The big thing is just, as long as Shamira is alive, we've got ourselves a chance. I mean, that's it's as simple as that. If, if Shamira can stay alive, even if it's a 1v5 and she her, her ultimate is close to being ready, I still feel confident that we have a good chance of getting this, except what is happening right now? What is going on? Is this a glitch? Or is this actually what... What is happening right now? I'm going to give this like five more seconds. Okay, we're just going to retry try that again. I don't know what happened there. That was really weird. I have no idea what just happened. All right, Kelther, just, just stay alive a little bit longer, buddy. Yeah, we're good. I thought for a second that... I thought for a second we might be in a little bit of an interesting predicament where Nara was finishing off and it was like 1v3, 1v4, but it ended up being only a 1v2... And see, that's the big thing. If the Succubus can just stay alive off the spawn for just a little bit, she can help a lot. Um, and she does have a little bit of her own survivor survivability, so that's really helpful because she doesn't just absolutely get demolished in eight seconds, which is which is pretty important to this. She, she's she's an integral part to this because of the boosted defense. So any survivability that she's able to bring and help with is really big. Okay, we got a Shamira on the enemy team. Shamira's dead. That should be GG. I have yet to run up to in anything other than Legends Challenge um, that has a Shamira my level. Like in the campaign or in the tower, there hasn't been any Shamiras. And really in Labyrinth, there hasn't been any Shamiras that have been crazy high. Uh, my Shamira went down, so this is going to be a reset. Yeah, it's going to be a reset. That was close, even with Shamira going down. So we ran into our first trouble on 16-16, but we can definitely beat this. We might just be able to rerun it. It was really close. Um, they were all pretty weak, and so we'll see. 
Shamir is not a great matchup against Estrilda, so I'll probably swap around if I lose again here, but it looks like we're going to successfully complete it this time. Shamir has got full health, and there's only one enemy left. Yep. Nice and easy. But there are certain heroes after playing the campaign that I know I don't want to line Shamir up against. Uh, Estrilda is one, Hogan is one, um, Ogi is one, and... Um, Nara is the other. Those are the four big ones that I don't want to line her up against. All right, this is great. Vidan. Okay, good. The worst thing that can happen there sometimes is when Vidan gets his... When he comes out of his ultimate like that and then immediately gets it again sometimes, that can turn into a really big nightmare for my team uh, just because they're kind of just hanging around and they don't have the greatest defenses. Um... And so I have to kind of be careful against the Vidans. There are certain setups I can do if a Vidan is giving me trouble with that. Uh, Niru is a character that I don't like to put Shamira up against. I will because I don't want to put my Nara up against it. But yeah, it's kind of an interesting thing over there. But Baden, Baden's kind of struggling right now. So I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with that. Um, he might be dying a little bit too quickly. Because like right now... I think we're going to be able to beat this, but yeah. But it, it, it's a tight little, it's a tight rope that we're walking here. So we're on 2020. We've got a Vidan, so I need to line up Nara with the Vidan. Is this how I want it? I think that's, that's how I want it. That's how I want it. Because I think, okay, no, never mind. Didn't do what I thought it was going to do, but that's all right. Eh, that Vidan is still... See, this is the issue, is when that Vidan stays alive, it's kind of a dicey scenario. It's going to be fine here, because it's just going to be... It's going to be Shamira versus Vidan and Niru, which should be no issue. And Kelther... Okay, Kelther almost killed... Almost killed Niru, but it doesn't matter. We did... We were able to clean it up, but... Those boss Vidans are always an interesting... An interesting matchup. They're not all that difficult. They're just an interesting matchup. I'm going to move Nara back over here, give her a little bit more protection. That's the main thing, just trying to protect my Nara. Because if she can stay alive with Shamira, she can be a really big help in two on fives or two on two on fours, stuff like that. Dragging one enemy away from Shamira and forcing that hero to fight her. That can be a really big help along the way. So pretty much all we got to do is worry about the boss stages. Every once in a while, something that's not a boss stage will trip me up, but usually only boss stages. Okay, Shamir is good. I actually still have my Succubus alive. If the Succubus is still alive, I can pretty much tell you it's GG <laughs> that I'm not losing um, because they really, the far heroes near the top of the screen have to go through the Succubus usually to get to Shamira. So if the Succubus is still alive, it's, it's, it's a good sign. It's a very good sign. Brutus is a hard one against Shamira because of his invulnerability. Um, it's really bad because the Shamira is in charge of killing everything for me. And so if she's if she's tied up with a Brutus that's invincible for a moment, like here, this might be where we run into trouble with a Brutus. Um, I'm just going to run it as normal, but this is a boss Brutus, so this will worry me. My Shamira should be able to handle it. But the issue is, is how much is still going to be alive when uh, Shamira. Excuse me. Sorry, had to sneeze. But see, like right now, see, there's other stuff still alive fighting. We're going to be able to beat this, but it's when you get to ones where there's like four people alive and Shamira's wasting a bunch of time fighting, um, fighting Brutus. I mean, because when that happens, it's just kind of, you're just kind of in a, a limbo area where Shamir is just getting absolutely wrecked by everything else. And um, Brutus is just kind of hanging out there, taking free hits and letting his uh, teammates. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Shamir's health got a little bit low there. I was a little bit concerned. But Nara had her ability and the succubus was still alive. So I think we would have had it even if Shamira went down. All right, to 1626. Can we complete the entire chapter 16? I doubt it. We've already ran into... Eh, stupid Estrilda. We've already ran into a little bit of issues here, so I'm interested to see. Ah, Nara grabs Savius. That's bad. Mm, I think we're going to get this, but that's really bad when Nara grabs Savius because uh, she can't trip him up to the ground. 
And so they're just pretty much standing in front of each other trading blows, and Savius is better at that than she is, and so it brings some issues. And this is going to be... This one might be a little bit tight. Use your ultimate Shamira. And Nara's going to go... Ah, eh, Shamira went down, so that's going to be... That's going to be GG. It's a, that was close. It wasn't perfect, but that was close. Um... I'm going to put Nara back up here, and let's try this again. Because Nara can grab a Strilda. I uh, didn't grab, she didn't grab a Strilda. Eh, this might be a little bit tight. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to get it this time. Let's Shamira get off your ability, Shamira. Hmm. If that heals her to full health, she might have this. Uh, yeah, she's going to have this. It's a 1v1 versus Niru. She should be able to clutch this out. Yep. Got a little bit dicey there. Okay, so we have a Brutus again. Um, I'm going to try this again. I want to get the Belinda out of here. Don't need the Belinda DPSing half of my team. Okay, so now Brutus is running wild, but everything is almost dead. The rain is dead. Okay, it's just the Brutus, and the Brutus is really weak. Should be an easy cleanup once he's not invulnerable anymore. Thank you, Nara. Okay, so that was good. We completed that, and we're on to stage 29. We are advancing pretty well now, and I haven't used any of my borrowed heroes that are all 185, so we'll see how this goes. Should be should be an interesting little conundrum here. Cleaned all of them up. All right, easy peasy. Oops, what am I doing? Start the start the fight. Let's see what's so we have another Estrelda. It looks like Shamir is handling this Estrelda pretty well. Uh, had a Muriel in this one, so that makes it pretty easy. When all they whenever they have those like really garbage characters, uh, if you can clean them up really quick and make it like a five on two, it's really easy. Um, like right now, Rain Angelo is gonna get finished up here really quickly. Eh, actually. We're, we're not in a great... Oh, good. That was nice by Kelther. That was a really nice uh, ability by, Col by Kelther there. Okay. Hogan. I don't want her facing Hogan. She's just It's just a terrible matchup for her against Hogan. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Try this first. If not, if this doesn't work, I'll switch Kelther and Baden. That might work a little bit better. But Hogan just is a absolutely horrendous matchup for Shamira. Because he has that ability that like slams her up in the air, and it really limits her potential to use any of her abilities. It just really does. She dies really quickly, and it hurts that ability so much. It hurts her ability so much, which is what makes her so good is is her abilities to do stuff. Ah, uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be tight. Um, Sh eh, Shamira's got this. <laughs> it looked kind of tight because they all had like half health, and there was like five of them left, but. I was wrong. All right. I never reset. But, oh, I, I have Shamira fighting a Hogan. But the good thing is, Sh is Sylvina has drawn Shamira's attention. So it's almost like she's fighting Sylvina and Hogan's not there. So, th so that was fine. That was fine. If she's 1v1ing Hogan, that's where the issues come into play. It's like similar to her issues when she 1v1s uh, Brutus. Uh, Brutus is a really... Brutus is just super annoying to fight. Um, he's not as op Ogi is the worst. Ogi is the absolute worst. He is the most annoying enemy to fight in this game. Hands down, it's not even close. He's so annoying when the computer has him. He's not that difficult when a person has him. We're already, we're on 1636. Uh, I need to get rid of that. Oh, Kaz is in the front. All right, let me just do it like this. We can get rid of Belinda and Kaz, and then if I can get rid of Kaz and Belinda, this should be easy peasy. Eh, Shamira's getting kind of worked by Kaz. That's got... Oh! Ooh! Kaz worked Shamira there. That was interesting. Yeah, Nara's dead. Ooh, that was that was an interesting... Let's go... Let's move... Let's do this. So, switch with the Belinda. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try this. See what, see what happens here. And Nara's getting smoked by Belinda-Kaz combo. Hmm. Let's see. 
switch these two so that Calther switches with someone that's not Belinda. Oh my gosh, Baden just getting de okay. That the Baden and Nara just got absolutely demolished. Ooh, this might be the end of our road here. This might be it. I might not be able to beat this. I might bring out who. Uh, I'm gonna bring out the heavy hitter, Brutus. We're gonna bring out Brutus and see. Don't use Brutus too often, but that that uh that Kaz is just an absolute destroyer, dude. She just wrecks house. It's kind of insane. But this actually working a little bit better. Belinda is down. And I think we might actually have... Yeah, we got it that time. Just had to bring out the big guns and Brutus. His survivability really helps. It, it, it limits our HP and attack because we don't have... We don't have the full four-person boost, so we have 5% less attack and 10% less HP. But Brutus's survivability is really big for... Um, being able to complete missions. Where is my Baden? There it is. Let's do it like that. I'm not too worried about these. The hardest one left that we've got is going to be 14, or 14. It's going to be 1640. Uh, that's the last one that I'm truly worried about is 1640, but I think we should be good. Shamira cleans that up. We'll see what, we'll see what it has in store. If it has like a boss Ogi, then maybe we're not so good. All right, we've 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 got Vidan. I hate fighting Vidans. He's not bad. I mean, it, it's not too terrible. But, man, his ultimate is so annoying. But it doesn't matter. He's not going to get his ultimate off. Good job, Baden and Nara. Cleaned him up. And that's going to do that one. Easy peasy completing the stage. We got to level 63. Okay. Oh, boy. Here we go with the Ogi. It's time to get absolutely destroyed by Ogi. I literally can't stand fighting Ogi. It is the worst. His ability to pick you up and like throw you across the map and just do some ridiculous amount of damage is it's just terrible. It's so annoying. Okay, you need Okay, good job, Nara. Nara needed to kill quickly so that she could contribute to killing other stuff, but she died. So now it's just Shamira in a 1v4 and it doesn't even matter. She's going to clean them up nice and easily. Does that get us to the 40? Yeah, this, here we go. Final stage. We got it. Oh, no. We got Kaz and Ogi. Who, brothers. This is going to be, this is going to be something. Um. Yeah, let's try this for now. We'll try this for now. We'll see. I might have to, uh, Br Brutus staying alive. Brutus, Brutus stayed alive, but. Freaking, freaking Ogi, dude. Ogi is Ogi is OP in campaign. He literally is. He's the most OP character in campaign, in my opinion. Let's do this. You over there. Um, I kind of want to get rid of Kelther and the Succubus, but I don't think that would be smart. Uh, we're gonna try this a few more times. I'm gonna use one of the the heroes that someone gave me. Uh, one of those mercenary characters. Shamira, please stop being stupid with your AI. Uh, Shamira, your AI is just... That was just some terrible AI attacking the Arden instead of the Kaz. <sighs> Let's see here. What heroes did I borrow? I borrowed a Kaz, I borrowed an Estrilda, and I borrowed a Belinda. Hmm. <laughs> Brutus has got to go. I'm going to do this. Belinda here. Belinda here. Let's try that. I don't necessarily like this because it means Nara's definitely dying. Okay, well, that didn't work. Okay. I probably did not set this up the best with my characters. Um... I need another tank, so let's let's try this. Estrilda, you tank. You're level 80, 185. I really hope you can tank Kaz. Uh, let's see. I think that's probably... Okay, we'll stay with that for now. We'll see. Okay, Estrilda. Estrilda just gets absolutely demolished. And Shamir couldn't get her ability off there. How is Kelther? How is Kelther still alive? Oh, uh, this is... 
Okay, I'm going to get rid of Kel. We're going to try something different here. Give me my Belinda. Give me my Belinda. And I don't want to get rid of Nara. Let me get rid of you. Do I have another Lightborn that's really good? All right, we, we can try Lucius. Okay, let's do this. Lucius, you go here. Belinda. Shamir. Okay, let's try this. Lucius just dies too quickly. He's too big of a trash can. He, he dies in like four seconds. It's, it's the worst. Lucius, you could be more helpful by not dying so freaking quickly. I don't have, think I have any more Lightborns. Hmm. Okay, we're going to do it this way. Hold on. Let me go to the Resonating Crystal. We're going to burn 100 gems here. Um, Who do I not use in... There's one person that I don't use on my Legends Challengers team. Who is it? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I use all the Wilders. It's a Lucius. I don't use Lucius. Lucius is so bad. That's that's the issue. Lucius just doesn't get it done. He's just terrible for me. Okay, so let's get rid of Lucius here. I know he's Legendary Plus or Legendary or whatever. Burn the 100 gems. Give me Fox. Where's Fox. If this doesn't work, we may be in trouble. Fox is right there. Confirm Fox to level 160. Okay, do I have gear up? Do I have Fox geared? I do have Fox geared. At least somewhat geared. Okay, so here we go. So get rid of you. Where's Fox? I need Fox. Fox. My weakest character, Fox. Oh, boy. Yeah, boy. This is going to be bad. Okay, um... I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this route right here. Shamira, just, you just got to stay alive a little bit. Just, uh, she, she just can't fight Kaz. It just doesn't work. She can't fight Kaz. But can she really fight Ogi? Like, can you, can she really fight Ogi? Ogi is, like, the worst. Eh, she can hang in there with Ogi. Fox, I need you. Fox, 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 Fox. Fox, I need you to get your ability, Fox, not... Whatever just happened there. I need him to take someone off the battlefield. Because if he could take someone out of the battle... Eh, okay, Fox just died in half a second there. Hmm. See, this is the issue. This is a little bit too tough of a 1v5 for Shamira. Okay. No you, Brutus... I need survivor survive survivability. I need I need guys to stay alive. So let's try this. Fox, I need you to stay alive. You need to stay alive, Fox. Stop getting pegged by arrows. Oh my gosh, Fox. You're ruining everything, Fox. I thought you were gonna be my savior. Okay. Okay. Fox is definitely not the saver. Neither is Belinda. What if we go with the 185 there, and we go with that, and then I have to go with another... Oh, let's go with Kethel. And... I think, I think we're good. Well, Brutus... Let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Kaz, I just need you to stay alive for a little bit against Ogi. Just, just be clutch against Ogi. That's all, that's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking is for you... To... Oh my gosh, Arden... Just absolutely... That actually worked. Hold on. That actually worked. Arden just kind of screwed that up. That actually worked fine, except that Arden, Arden screwed it up. It was perfectly fine until Arden had to be annoying. Can we... Can we kill Arden, please? Hurry up. Kill Arden before he does something dumb. Thank you. Uh... Eh... Uh, uh, we, uh, oh, we did it! Nice! <laughs> oh my gosh, that... That was it. Completed chapter 16. Oh boy, look at look at look at the gigantic hundred dollar offer that there's no way on earth I'm buying. Okay, <laughs> chapter 16 is complete. On to chapter 17, baby. And we can pop in here. Not gonna do anything with that right now, but we can collect all of our rewards. So we got ourselves a rain. And she's just regular elite. Yeah, regular elite rain and 12 faction summons. I'll be saving those for Graveborns. Uh, completed that. Look at all of these gems just flowing in. Ooh, we got a legendary piece of armor. Nice. 32, 36. 
Ooh, there we go. We got a mythic piece of armor there. Ancelot's armor. That is nice. Let's see here. So we can put that on Baden. Let's let's hope for some good luck here. Ah, nope. Didn't get the didn't get the good luck on that one. Um we can now we can put Ooh, good. We that's uh that's a wilder, so that's good to put on her. Um let me go to Ferial. See what do we get there? Okay, we got that piece of armor for him. All right, Brutus, you get the upgrade. Cuz Brutus does get to do a decent amount. Uh Yeah, we'll do Grezel. We'll give it to Grezel. We'll do we'll give it to Grezel. And then we'll give you what Grezel had and that has a bonus on it as well, so that's not bad. Okay, so that's going to do it uh, for this episode, guys. We were able to crush it right on through stage 16, chapter 16. Uh, and so I hope you guys enjoyed. A little bit of a long episode, but I didn't actually think we would do the entirety of chapter 16. Um, and we were able to do it. So I'm going to stop blabbing on. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.